chief priest as a chief priest, yes or no? Yeah, he's the chief priest okay. of this organization. Yeah, he's the chief priest okay. of this organization. So a Levitical priest, it is literally, now you do understand that it's actually a sin for you to disagree with me on this, right? Let's put that aside real quick. Well, 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 I would, I would, I would I go, well, hold on, brother. If that's the case, well, is Elder Apostle the Tahara a priest? So if you disagree with him, well, could I try the same thing? Don't you know? Elder Apostle Tahara is too old to actually serve as an active priest. So actually at this point, you want to see before though. It, 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 that's irrelevant because I'm a priest, so I can disagree with him. You can't disagree with me. That's the difference. And he's no longer going to be an active priest pursuant to Levitical law. I'm okay, 30, okay, so 30 years old. So oh, oh, ATT, I'm 30 years old, so I'm the current ruling priest. I want you to understand it. I'm the current ruling priest. I want you to understand it. I'm, talk, I'm saying names. I'm showing screenshots. I'm going to show how, how men who I look to as elders have disappointed me this weekend by contradicting the word of their God, by contradicting the word of their king and their savior in favor of a nigga who turned his back on them 30 years ago. A nigga who got on stage and called Tazadakia the God sent comforter. Fuck Ari. There's unity in one cause, work. Mm -hmm. We at Zakari are in unison with IUIC. We at Zakari are in unison with IUIC. Fuck REI. Um, but I'm confident that we will see REI again. We at Zakari are in unison with IUIC. Oh, I'm the current ruling priest. Yeah, he's the chief priest okay. of this organization. Oh, I'm the current ruling priest. Yeah, he's the chief priest okay. of this organization. Oh, I'm the current ruling priest. Yes, oh, I'm the current ruling priest. I want to give all the praises and the honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, elders, you brethren, you believers of the faith. Shalom to the elect. Uh, now I want to go into this video. You know, now if I came to the, you know, if I just came to the truth maybe a few years back. Or more, more of a novice in the truth, I'd probably be even more upset. But this is something that is going to happen, right? And um, I don't understand why he was so mad at um, um, Elder Aria. You know, I don't understand uh, why he was so mad on, at Elder uh, Aria, which he should be thankful, if anything. It's one of the reasons why he got that 12 tribes chart sitting, um, you know, out there at his camps. Now, we do, do know the most high will use who we use. But um, going into history, you look at King David, even with uh, Saul going off, you know, he still referenced him as his teacher, <clears throat> you know, because the most high will cause whomever to go off, but is in your character to stay righteous and respect what was set up before you. But it just seems that some guys can't see that. It's in the scriptures as well. You know, uh, you know, Elder Aria, or his title, High Priest Elder Aria, was, um, has done his job. He's finished what he set up to do. So by the time he crossed over to the side of Comfy, you know, as they're speaking of, you know, he's finished what he was, you know, his job, man, what he was supposed to do. And I never met him. I don't even know him. But I, I will say I've watched him speak. You know, I was very moved by his, his teaching, not just the teaching. You know, his voice was powerful and he was a good speaker. But the way he was able to bring it all together, right, and move you he had from what i see i know I, you know my teachers and apostles 
uh, was, you know, as Apostle Tahar, I've seen him in videos right alongside of him, watched him, right? And um, you could see the audience when I was looking at it, you know. So, anyway, I don't know why he was so mad. Maybe this is an act, <laughs> right? Maybe this is an act. You know, the followers on the side, he's so angry. I'm upset at you, at, the, uh, at my elders, Oh, I mean, this is nothing new. You've been mad at the elders. You've been disrespectful to the elders. This is nothing new. Jake was waiting for this to happen. And the wickedness is being exhorted, you know, in that community. So Galatians 6 and 3, for if a man think of himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. So this is why he speaks of he's now the high priest or chief priest. Let me say that. I'm not going to call him out of his name. He's the chief priest of that organization. But he says, as I put the clip in, that he's the chief priest in general because uh, we've done videos on that, that he was over uh, under 50. Now, this is exactly why Paul, had, when he came on the scene following the works of Yahweh, which a lot, these guys don't believe fully in the letters of Paul, but if you go into the references and understanding of it, this is what Paul was saying. That's why Yahweh people was mad at him. Right? Because these wicked Pharisees was adding to the scriptures, adding to the law, and just making things as they go instead of finishing, you know, the course that they set up. You know, so the greatest example is these, these uh, guys, they believe in reincarnation. Right? They said that Zaya, Wade, and whoever has greater chance but Solomon went off, right? And he did much worse things than Elder Ariyah did shaking, uh, welcoming comfy. <laughs> much worse things than Solomon did, worshiping Ashtaroth and Mekom. Uh, I can't remember the Chemoth or whatever. Different gods, Baal, right? And that was another video. So there was many men that done things and went off and died. But did that make them completely unrighteous? Absolutely not. Yahweh Shah came back as a righteous, as a righteous uh, spirit, a righteous man. Let me say that in the spirit. So that's a great example of how we uh, um, we're covered when we talk about being covered by the blood of Yahweh Shah. That's the covering. Anyway, let's go to 1 Kings. I just want to go into this story real quick. I read this a while back, but I want to read it. But I want to read it in a context that somebody put it like in a, you know, kind of pretty much put it together in a uh, different version. It says, 1 Kings 5, Adonijah, some say Adonijah, but Adonijah, was the son of King David and his wife, Haggith. He was born, so like if I'm mispronouncing some of these names, he was born after Absalom, and we know that even David went off, and a lot of people think that his his iniquity wasn't accomplished, but when you look at his line with uh, his sons, Absalom, even Tamar, but I mean Absalom, even Solomon, Omni, I believe his name was, and, and messed with the sister. He had a cursed line, right? And he went off and died, an old man, okay? He was born after Absalom. Adonijah was a very handsome man. King David never corrected his son, Adonijah, and he never made, uh, never made him explain his action. Adonijah became very proud and decided that he would be the next king. So that's the spirit. I'm the high priest. I'm the chief priest. Let me say that. He wanted, well, the scripture says you are, uh, you are a royal priesthood, you know. It says he wanted very much to be the king. And this is where I wanted to stop. The covetous, covetousness, behavior, mindset, jealousy. All these guys that drop off, you know who they get mad at mostly? They get mad at the older men, the elder men. Right, that's who they get mad at. They get mad at the uh, the apostles, and then the older you are, it seems the more angry they get. <laughs> they couldn't wait to Elder 
uh, high priest elder Arya to uh, pass. Right? They couldn't wait. They couldn't wait for him to pass so they can come. So even the ones that was with us that branched off, they were waiting for that time too. See, the bottom line is no matter who you are, you're going to come back in the same mindset that you were in. You can fake it under the name of Yahawashah. And these guys have joined and merged with a group that don't even believe in the name of the Lord. How abominable is that? Hold on. Elder Ariah hugs and welcomes Comfy, but Bishop Nathaniel pretty much welcomes Jesus the Christ. But the black version, they say. I don't understand that because if I had a driver's license and I lost it and you gave me back with my my picture on it but somebody else's name I'm going to be pretty upset I do know that let's go to 2 Timothy 3 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come troubling times for men, sh men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous right um, bolsters proud it seems like the more hair the bigger this man's beard grow the more proud he becomes it seems that way I don't know I don't know why he wears those hats either now well maybe I do I don't know what's going on with that but um hey that's what it is um I'm not here to talk bad about him specifically but his doctrine that he's going off that he's going off on um the scripture says woe to when men, men speaks well of you so a lot of you guys you're in the trick bag you're speaking um this is showing that um elder aria you know um had to be a man of the lord because nobody's speaking everybody outside of us is not speaking well of him okay G4124. It says greedy desire to have more. <laughs> That's what it means. Greedy desire to have more. Bolsters, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. I've got to read that one too. Disobedient to parents. Parents are ones that watch over you. Don't necessarily have to be your mother or your biological father. I mean, I believe Paul was. Um, so like if I'm wrong but Paul was a parent to, I believe to Timothy Timotheus I think was his name um, and he looked at him and loved him like a son and they said that was off that Paul I actually did a video on that they said Paul looking at him because the scripture says call no man your father which we went into that um, you got to go into the context of what they're saying that Apostle Paul went off. See, that's what happens when you get into those debates and you start getting um, um, you know, uh, tripped up, right? G G1118 says fathers, parents, parents. Uh, and that's literally happening too. G1096. Um, it says that's pretty much it. Let me go back here. Uh, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers. You know, you had a truce, which is a form of an agreement, and you broke the agreement. Like when somebody said, we came to a truce. Um, let me see what that, let me see what that go into. See, um, you know, these guys, they were never really meant to be faithful. You are who you are, and you can't change that, and that's the whole point. Okay, truth breakers, G seven eighty six. Without a covenant of things not mutually agreed upon, abstinence from hostilities that cannot be persuaded to enter into the covenant, implacable. You know, all over the place. Uh, false accusers. You know, call us rapists and, you know, incontinent fears, despise of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of Yahweh. Now, 
I know they claim they repented from the Passover, but their actions, you would think they would be a whole lot more humble. I think they repented. I think they said that. But you think they would be a whole lot more humble and more respectful. And, um, you know, a coward to me is someone who waits to that person is not around, right, to talk trash on them, especially when they passed on, you know. Now, we may have said things about wicked men who have went off, you know, and have told them they went off. That's the key. You know, you can't find a video, at least in the majority, that one of us hasn't dealt with situations of men that going off and corruptly going off. Right? I heard Apostle Taha even say that um, uh, his elder was going off. Elder uh, title, High Priest Ariah, was going off. Right? And um, we say that. We say that about Bishop Nathaniel. We say that about Sakari, uh, this group. Uh, we say that about IUIC, even ourselves. I have to do corrective videos, corrections. So, as long as we speak it. But, I mean, to a, and we're not just talking about any, any Jake that was in the truth. We're talking about a man that brought a lot of insight on the truth. The 12 tribes chart. Even on the left-hand side of the world that people may have had a problem with you know the other nations show so much far more respect for ones that passed on and that made differences in their lives or in the lives of many and um elder Ariel made a difference in the lives of many he was responsible through the spirit of yahweh of a uh, part of the great awakening and you know along with others as well i'm just saying that he was responsible for this uh, 12 tribes chart and, and various other things and, and the truth. I mean, you guys just taking this as this wasn't important. This was a very important thing. Anyway, um, I don't really have much else to say that these guys are just not respectful. They really want the throne. And um, I would imagine, I don't know how they treat their fathers or their parents. I'm talking about biologically. I don't know. But, I mean, to say those kind of words after a man has passed on, uh, not really at him, but to get mad, get at his teachers who taught him, it's a big sign of a coward to me. That's all I have on that, Shalom.